Hello, I am Peter Lee for NewsBuds, China Watch. This week on China Watch, China plays defense and offense against America. China just held its annual Belt and Road Bash in Beijing. Xi Jinping carefully and effectively parried Western attacks on China's signature strategic initiative. It also looks like the PRC will dodge U.S. efforts to push it in the corner on Iran by throwing Iran under the bus again. And the People's Republic of China unexpectedly bested the U.S. Navy at its favorite game of maritime lawfare in the Taiwan Strait. And Avengers Endgame, because you know you just gotta. You'll get the full stories this week on NewsBuds China Watch. That's a good thing, because it's becoming increasingly unlikely that you'll get the full story anywhere else. Consider this tweet. Fair and balanced reporting when it comes to a totalitarian regime is essentially playing into their hands. On the surface, it appears that you're adhering to journalistic standards, but what you're really doing is assigning moral equivalency to the CCP. Thus, it's misinformed. That's retired General Robert Spaulding tweeting. Spaulding was also a major source for a recent New Yorker article on cybersecurity, the terrifying potential of the 5G network. Apparently, the New Yorker doesn't care if its sources are manipulating them to advance policy goals, which in this case includes instilling terror about 5G and China. But here at NewsBud, we do care. We look beyond the words and the promises to the facts and the sources and the agendas that drive the U.S. state towards war around the world and confrontation with China. Navigate to NewsBud.com to join the best community of free thinkers on the internet or Rent this episode on Vimeo. It's the news you've been missing.